is pretty self-explanatory. And we're just going to look a little further. Let's hit Section 16. Criminal prosecutions, right of defendant. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall have the right to appear and defend in person and by counsel to demand the nature and cause of the accusation, to meet the witnesses against him face-to-face, to have process process to compel the attendance of witnesses in his behalf, and a special public trial by an impartial jury of the county district which the offense is alleged to have been committed. So, um, okay, you have that fair trial too. Yeah, this is interesting. I guess everyone who owns firearms have to register them and so forth, or, you know, capacity rounds. Let's just see here. Present witnesses, no. Oh, this is section 18. Crimes, evidence against oneself jeopardy. No person shall be compelled to testify against himself in a criminal case, nor shall any person be twice put in jeopardy for the same offense. If the jury disagrees, or the judgment be arrested after the verdict, or the judgment be reversed for an error in law, the accused shall not be deemed to have been in jeopardy. Ah, that's interesting because right there, hey, jury notification on those ridiculous laws in Colorado, you can use, you can use it against the prosecutors, so um, the justice system. So that's pretty neat there. I like that a lot. And let's go almost done here, folks. Bear with me. Oh, due process. Section 25 of Article 2 still. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Well, those laws that they passed in Colorado in, 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 um, after got ratified or honored in, on July 1st, it is considered illegal. <laughs> due process. And we will hit, last but not least, 28. Section 28. Rights deserve, reserved, not disparaged. The enumeration in this constitution of certain rights shall not be contrived to deny, impair, or disparage others retained by the people. What is that equivalent to? The Ninth Amendment. So, that's the thing, my friends. Those laws that they added in the state of Colorado is considered unconstitutional under Article 2 of the Colorado's Constitution. And uh, that's why, when that time was some le- to a couple of legislators got recalled in that state, and everyone that c- cried about was, oh, it's a Second Amendment issue, I have to disagree because they breached their oath of office, which, if I'm correct, it is under sec- um, Article 12, Section 8, I could be mistaken. Let me just verify that. Oh, excuse me. In good, in good faith. So I want to give you assumptions, but give you the facts. Yeah, let's go. Let's just check this out. It looks like I may be it. Yep, right here. Article 12, Section 8. Oath of civil officers. Every civil officer except members of the General Assembly and such inferior officers as may be by law exempted, shall, before he enters upon the duties of his office, take and subscribe an oath or affirmation to support the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Colorado, and to faithfully perform the duties of the office upon which shall he shall be about to enter. That's why the two legislators that were recalled in that state breached their oath of office. So this is um State Colorado, Colorado's Constitution. This is from Ballotpedia.org, which they're pretty accurate. You can hit you can still engine search um, Colorado Constitution and look from the own state's web source or site. And um, that's how I see it. It's just that law those certain laws they pass in Colorado is illegal, null and void. And I can't blame Magpul 
for get, moving out and taking their business somewhere else because you gotta get them where it hurts and you can hurt the state with their with their wallets because tax revenues is an important burden for the for a state and if you're gonna mess with people it will backfire so I have to say I do congratulate the Magpul company on taking that stance and everyone needs to do the same thing even including the people in the state of Colorado you still have the power it may be in the books but you can look at your state con especially your state constitution all right that's perfect state constitution the US Constitution and if you have if you become a juror in these particular um, crimes but she's victim of crime laws if you owe like over 15 round magazine they want to throw you throw a person in jail for it you got the power to say not guilty okay each juror has a mind of its own and they are considered inalienable which I addressed before mentioned article 2 section 3 inalienable rights and of course section 28 enumeration of rights so you got the ball in your court you all have obligations and I do commend the people of Colorado in those districts to throw out some of the knuckleheads that that breach their oath. So it doesn't matter if it's the Second Amendment, but they breach their oath of office. That's how you get them. You think strategically like Sun Tzu or a chess game. Politics can be a chess game. You gotta make the right moves. That's how it is in life. And that's really it for now. And I do like to thank you for your time. I will put these links up while I address the four mentioned as soon as possible. And um, you can uh, send your comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down, middle fingers. Don't matter. I, I'll, I can deal with it. On my Facebook page. Twitter. I got YouTube as well. And SoundCloud. I still got to fix it. So... Hopefully I'll do that ASAP. <laughs> Bear with me. And uh, that's all for now. And just to let everyone know that demoniac resistance is healthy for the soul and can liberate societies. Until next time, take care of yourselves and may your guardian spirits be with you.